Okay, and welcome back to the third part of the, this module, and we are talking about multiplexers, screen and Tmux. Both are very useful, you should know at least one of them and use it. Uh, screen is older, Tmux is kind of a screen on Stroid. So I prefer Tmux, I'm very happy with Tmux, I use it in most of my videos for my ordinary life on my servers, whatever. So Tmux is better, but the screen is more popular. In most of the distros, we used to have screen installed by default. What these do? What's the problem? We learned how we can start if we have one shell. For example, we SSH to a server. We can run different commands, send them to the background. So running different commands. And we can use no hop a command, maybe and or ampersand, to send it to the background from the beginning. And this will be running even if we disconnect from this machine or close this window. This is useful. But the problem is next time when you connect to the same machine, you have to open new windows, start new monitoring and everything. And all and even uh, controlling this is difficult. Screen and Tmux are called terminal multiplexers. How they work? They create kind of a session for you where you are doing whatever you want splitting even windows and you are running this then you can disconnect from this session detach from it log out from the system come back tomorrow go to the next system and reattach to the same screen same things are running there same things are configured there your monitoring is working and everything these are super useful i will show you the screen first then we will go to the tmax and i give you a hint why this is super useful for myself what how it works you have a session ssh somewhere connected somewhere sitting in front of your keyboard and you run screen wow i have a problem in network so i run my screen it's a welcome page, say spacebar or return to end this welcome page. Now I'm inside that screen. I can run a command here. For example, I can say ping this server and it's pinging the server. On the screen command, most of the things do work with a control A combination. So you keep control, push A, release both, then give a command. One of the commands is D for detach so i do a control a d i detached from that screen this screen has a number here 2742 if i forgot this i can do a screen dash ls i will list all the screens i have the fun part is i have two screens one is dead i was using it myself so this is 2742, my screen. I can reattach to it. Dash R, 2742. I'm back in the same screen. It's trying to ping a host and I have network issues as I've told you in the previous video. So I can control C, break it. I can, I'm inside my screen if you remember. I have different commands. All work with the control plus a combination then release this and do one of these d was for detach pipe is for splitting like this and s is for splitting like this you can split your uh parts it is called focuses when you are splitting like this with tap you move in different focuses and with n and p you go to the next and previous windows let me show you not very interesting but main part of a screen is what you saw you start a screen you run a command in it detach from it and it will be kept running like it but let's do it Control a release it and the pipe this will create a new focus on the other side if i want to go to the other side Control a 
then tap. Now I'm on the other side. Control A, C will create a new session here, new window here technically. So I can run another command here, for example, top for my monitoring. Then I can do a Control A, tap, I will go to the next focus, and I run my same ping here. And I say interval is 10 seconds. Do a ping every 10 seconds. Now I can detach. Control A, detach. Okay, this is the number, ID number of my screen. So I can log out, I can come back tomorrow, whenever, next year, and say screen retouch to 2742. While nobody has killed this screen, the server is not restarted, and the screen session is running. I retouch to it. Everything is not exactly the same. I have my first window, but where is my second window? I've opened it in another focus. So I can go to the next window, Control A, N for next. Now I'm on my next window. The other command is running here, which was a top. Control A, N, next. Okay, same as the previous one because I only had two. I can create another focus. Control B, capital letter S to split it. Ah, sorry, Control A, S. I'll split it like this. Control A, tap. I went to the next one. Control a, N, next one, open it here, it's the same one. Control A, next, okay, next one here. Here, you can see how I'm working with it. Not super convenient, it's kind of difficult, but it works. That's why they invented the Tmax. But before that, let's have a look at the Control A, D, I detached it. Let's have a look to the keys. You saw this. I'll work with Control A. Use Control plus A, release it. Then with this one, you split vertically. Shift S, it's practically capital S, horizontally. Split and create a new focus here. With the tab, you move between different focuses you created. The next one, with C, you create a new window here in this focus. So these are windows. Focuses are what you are creating at the moment and putting windows in them. With D, we detached. We N and P, next and previous. We were loading next and previous windows in the current focus. The slash, or backslash, backslash, backslash. Backslash will kill all processes window and terminate the screen. K will kill current window. Okay, next is Tmax. Because of that ugly network issue, I'm running it locally on my machine, no difference. It's not a Linux specific thing. I'm on a Mac. And you have to install it in most of the cases. It's not part of the default distros. And when you run it, you are in a session like this. Again, it's a terminal multiplexer. It's a screen on steroid. So instead of Control A, which you had on the screen, now I have Control B. Push Control B, release it, then D will detach. You can do splits. Let me write them like this so you know which one does in what vertical or horizontal. Uh, let's start with this one, enough for us at the moment. So I, in the Tmax, I run some command here. Interval is 10. I can say Control B, percentage sign. It will split it. I can say top here, it's running top. Control B, double quote, split it like this. When I want to move between them, Control B, this side will go here. Control B, that side will go there. Control B, up will go here. Very logical. And when I want to detach, Control B, D. I detached from this session. I can say Tmax LS. It will show me all the Tmax sessions I have. And as you can see, this is my own machine. So I have lots of Tmaxes running in most of my terminals. 
but when I detach it says you detach from session 11 this one only one window created on this date so I can say which one is mine I can retach to it or attach to it I say tmax attach enough dash t11 to the terminal 11 so I'm detached here attached again here sorry reattached here and it's working why this is super cool because for example I have a server in one of the projects it has a database front end server back end server Kafka machine whatever whatever I can even create new windows here I have this this is zero I can say control B C create a new window BC I created another one here so I can put for example say okay I will split it like this this is the program I'm writing and here I'm running my program for example and testing it for example then I can say control B zero Not working control B zero it will go to the zero because I had some other control B's running Control B0 will go here. Control B1 will go to my programming. So I can create different ones. One is connected to the database, one is monitoring, one is programming, one is testing, and just forget about the project. After five months, if they said, can you please add this feature? I will just connect to the server. If it's not restarted, if it, nobody messed up my Tmax, I would connect to the same Tmax session and I can see all the different uh, sections I was working on just like this. Do the programming then here I can do this otherwise I have to remember how I was connected to the database how I was testing these projects or whatever even if you are doing it tomorrow you're just connect your Tmax you have everything under your control position control B detaches oh I have a more in-depth Tmax video here if you wanted you can check that one up because I'm a super fan of Tmax, so this is a longer video and there I have shown you more things. But in general, for the LPIC, it's good to know that these are the terminal multiplexers, which lets you create a session, connect to it, run something, both screen and Tmax, then detach from them, log out from system, and everything will remain running and showing whatever they are doing here. Later, you can retach again to this on the screen we were retaching with screen dash r id or dash ls to see all the sessions on tmax we were doing tmax directly ls and tmax attach or just add the if needed dash t the id of the one we wanted this is how multiplexers work. Hope you liked it. Sorry for the technical problems in this session. But anyway, that's life. It's better to do things rather than saying hopefully tomorrow everything will be fine.